Hello. So in this video, let's try to create foundation material shadow. So let's go to our project and let's go to a section view shadows and let's use material takeoff for this task. Let's select structural foundations. Let's press OK. And I should select some parameters from all this list. So let's go to our slides and in this case we can choose these basic parameters for our shadow okay so let's go back to Revit and let's use a material mark type mark material name material comments material description material model counting material value volume okay and simple comments and just type okay so infiltration area i don't need any filters because i have just only one house and if i would have any zones or other parts of a house it's recommended to use some filters or well, i want to filter by level or by by different objects so you should use filter okay so in sorting i will sort by type mark material name i want to see calculate the totals with the title I will turn off itemize every instance, but for checking mistakes, first attempt you should leave it on and check mistakes and later you can turn it off. Next part, let's use formation. So in this position, I leave just mark, type mark, okay, name, comments, description model count volume in volume i will select center counting also at center model also at center volume i check meter cubics okay also calculate totals counting also totals and comments okay type I will hide type section here. And for material mark, I will hide it and I will use just type mark. And in appearance section, 3.5 for title text, 2.5 here and 2.5 for body text. And also I turn off blank row. Press OK and let's check what we have for our results. So for different types of my foundations, I get information like that. So for my foundation, let's use it, wall foundation, okay. So this will be slab foundation. And this part will be foundation cap.
these parameters I will group and name and and from here I delete these elements I group borders outer for the title name also no borders and bottom border uh, this part should be in the center and resize to 15 these three parts I resize to 19 and this part let's put it 20 and this to 15 and let's check okay so this part is 25 So in these locations I should implement some additional information, the strength parameters of concrete and other parameters, but I can just have a shadow looking like that, or I can change this just to material names and use only material names and I get only the material takeoff and no other rows in this shadow. So both are correct. Uh, this is more compact version and another version the type marks gives uh, more detail and I can connect information with my shadow from my plan views. So this version, maybe it's better to use in this project.